Hi, this is Siddharth from Creative Lizard and this episode is going to be very interesting because Google recently moved their Jetpack Compose from beta to stable. That means I going to show you how UI designed using Jetpack Compose rather than XML. So don't waste more time okay and let's begin and before that don't forget to subscribe if you like my content okay so let's make it uh, open android studio artifox or anything latest from that and select empty compose activity after that you can name anything in your project i am right now i'm uh, naming it just jetpack compose demo so name that and let's load the project after loading i am i gonna be back one eternity later right now the project just loaded and you are just seeing the very fast jetpack compose structure in your code see there's no any set content xml call instead set content calls a composable method called greetings i am uh, now leading arranging the code and moving the composable to another file in that way i hope i can clean a little bit name the first composable method and change the name from greetings to home as we are creating home page and this uh, file contains all the home page components composable uh, to need to show the uh, in the home page Now I need a button to navigate list item page. Okay, so add a button like so.
after that we need an item list page activity so that we can navigate to the page so make it one Next, we need a button press event in our home composable so that we can press the button and navigate to the next activity like uh, in our case item list page. So make that one. I am uh, going to uh, uh, pass named parameter in a home composable function naming it on item list button and to do like show. Now in the item list activity, I am just simply showing a text to test the navigation function. Uh, next call start activity on item list button function like so. Now uh, it's time to work on the item list activity. First set a preview for the page also. Now to show the list item, I am going to create an list item list page composable function like home in a home page in item list page composable we need to pass item list to populate list data so doing that like so to populate list i am using row or column Remember, row and column, these all are not uh, scrollable. To use scrollable like uh, list view or recital view does, use lazy row or lazy column in Android Jetpack Compose. But for this project, I'm just using only row or column. I am showing each item in a cell, naming it item cell. For now, I am showing the text only as it uh, item cell. To obtain list of data, I am declaring a dummy list data method in a list item data file uh, in a model. List item data in a below of a list item data class, I am declaring that method and uh, in a real project, you may call API to get list from the server. 
Now pass the details as a para in a list item page composable function like so. Use column instead of row if we need to show details vertically. Now I am designing the list item cell so that it looks good. Now adding more data <laughs> for no reason. Now after that running it and uh, let's see how it looks. Now uh, it's looking uh, correctly, it's working correctly. To implement on item click event in a list, we need to pass named function param in a list item page composable function like so and uh, cut skill clickable uh, property just execute our name function that's it Now in the list item activity into on item click function just showing the toast with the item name to display like that. And uh, the lastly, I'm adding a little bit of elevation to the shell so that it looks better. Run the app. Yeah, works. So I think Jetpack Compose is the impressive one, and I think you guys should love it. So try. And that's all for the today's episode. We'll see you in next episode. So don't forget to subscribe. Bye.